and uh, uh, as you heard uh, from my colleague and friend, the first Prime Indian Foreign Minister for 20 years. Uh, we, we met because uh, we wanted to we chair the Joint Commission which held its fourth meeting uh, today, but also because as Prime Ministers this is an opportunity for us to review the world, look at our bilateral relations, the big issues of the day and some of it we have done, some of it we will be doing later uh, in the evening. Uh, I think from the perspective of India-Denmark relationship, it's been a, a very, very productive day for me so far. Uh, we we uh, went through the joint commission. We, uh, we had actually devised a joint action plan uh, for the next five years. Uh, so we looked at how the joint action plan has uh, has delivered even in the middle of COVID. Uh, and I must say, uh, I, I compliment officials on, on both sides that uh, they have actually done a lot in the last year and a half uh, for all the travel problems that we've had. Uh, uh, again, uh, as you've just heard, uh, we, had, uh, we have 10 working groups in our joint commission. We just added 11th one, the one on health, and its relevance is very obvious. Uh, given the context of the uh, COVID, uh, the green, you know, what's unique about our relationship with Denmark is that Denmark is the only country with which we have a green strategic partnership. And uh, uh, the way we look at it, you know, uh, everybody says build back better, but we also want to grow back greener. Uh, and in growing back greener, we think uh, Denmark is a very, very unique partner because. Uh, you have strengths and experiences and best practices which are enormously helpful uh, for a country like India at this stage uh, of its development. And uh, uh, quite apart from you know the policies and the positions we take, uh, to me what was particularly satisfying was that uh, thanks to the initiative which uh, Minister Yu took, uh, I was able to meet uh, five uh, uh, CEOs uh, 